We have more bacterial DNA in our gut than we have human DNA in our body. So it makes you think, are we in charge or are the bacteria in our gut in charge of how we feel? anxiety, depression, memory. It's really important to pay attention to the microbiome or the collection of bacteria that's contained within the gut because the research shows that there are strains of bacteria that have been shown to affect mental function. So the gut talks to the brain through a two-way communication system called the vagus nerve. There are these fine branches that stem from the nervous system all the way down into our gut. In fact, there's more information every day being sent from the gut to the brain than there is from the brain to the gut. The research shows that poor gut health can contribute to mental health, and if our gut function is impaired, chances are we're not gonna be able to absorb things like vitamin B12, iron, magnesium. These are key nutrients that are involved in mental health. The other piece is the microbiome and the bacteria that's contained in there. Certain strains of bacteria in the gut that can help produce things like GABA, neurotransmitter that's very calming. Well, sugar, processed foods, artificial flavors, colors, and things that are deep fried, all of those foods are highly inflammatory for the gut, and as a result, they can affect brain function. We want to make sure we're getting foods that are high in omega-3 fats, wild-caught fish, nuts, seeds, olive oil. Additionally, we want to make sure that we're providing the gut with a wide range of nutrients, bright colors that we see in fruits and vegetables, because all of those bright colors have nutrients, have fiber, prebiotics that are very good for the bacterial microbiome, which will allow them to flourish. We want to make sure we're getting foods that are high in vitamin B6, the cofactor in the the production of dopamine and also we want to make sure we're getting foods that are high in tryptophan you know things like uh, turkey those foods can help support the neurotransmitter serotonin which can also help support a healthy gut brain access What can happen over time with poor dietary choices, stress, toxin exposure, is that the walls of the digestive system can become leaky. When the cells of the digestive system are no longer tightly sealed, things get through into circulation that shouldn't get through and make their way up to the brain and cause inflammation in the brain, which can contribute to long-term mental health issues as well. Supplements are not always the answer. More is not always better. In fact, it's very important to work with a licensed practitioner that could produce or make a personalized plan for you in order for you to understand what it is that your body needs. It's important for us to understand the effect that stress can have on our digestive or gut function. So when our body is experiencing stress, we shift towards fight or flight. The body pulls the blood away from the digestive system and puts it towards the muscles, heart, and the lungs. Our digestive system literally gets paralyzed. And it's really, really important to check in, especially before eating, to see, am I feeling stressed right now or am I feeling relaxed and is my body ready? Because there's so much that's going on in our gut that the research has yet to really uncover, not just from mental health that we discussed, but from our ability to detoxify, our hormone balances, our cardiovascular health, and so much more.